Hey, welcome back. It's another beautiful day. Uh, today my sister is on her way over and we are going to be using some of these dried herbs to make our own incense cones. We've tried this before, haven't had great luck with the recipes we've used, so we're tweaking it and trying something different this time. This time we will be putting a hole in the center to help with air uh, flow to keep them burning longer. That was our issue before. And then we will toss them in the dehydrator. So we'll use dried herbs, water, and we will be using activated charcoal to help hold them all together. When using dried herbs for incense cones, it doesn't smell exactly like you would think, like lavender doesn't smell exactly like lavender when you're burning it. Use it more of a smudge or a cleansing for our spaces. Let's see how it goes. Some of the tools we will be using, like I mentioned, we have the dehydrator. Um, these are some herbs. We have balsam fir, we have rose petals, holy basil, lavender, chamomile, damiana leaf, yarrow. These are lemon peels, vitamin C capsules, which are just orange peels. So we can undo these and use them. Eucalyptus, lemon balm, and some helichrysum. I do have other herbs we can grab if we are missing stuff. Just have some mixing bowls to mix the water and herbs together in. We'll be using these piping tips as a mold. She has more of these sizes, so she'll be bringing that one over. I think that'll work best. Some toothpicks to poke the holes through. This is our activated charcoal. To grind the herbs together, I just use this coffee grinder. I have one separate for herbs and one for coffee, so this is the herb grinder. <laughs> we'll be using that. Our tray just to set the cones on until we're ready and we'll try to do different to keep them separate different scents for each tray. Starting this project off with one of my favorite childhood scents balsam fir. I love this scent so much brings back so many memories. My five-year-old nephew wanted to lend a hand. This is a wonderful project to have kids involved. Here we had to have a little lesson on sifting. Ultimately everything got dumped in but that's okay. Good. I'm gonna dump it in. There's one. We need six of those. This smells so good. Yep. One, two, three. After adding the activated charcoal and some water. The consistency felt a bit crumbly, so we had to reevaluate and figure out what went wrong. We found another recipe that incorporated honey, so we do add honey to this He's and some honey. more water, hoping that will bind it together better. Everything's all mixed together. We're using the piping tips as molds. It doesn't seem to be going very well. Everything just kind of seemed crumbly and falling apart. It just didn't quite make sense. We gave it a good solid effort with this charcoal honey recipe and water. We did end up scrapping this idea. It just wasn't working. Went back to the drawing boards and found marshmallow root was a great binding agent. So we ground up some marshmallow root that I had. And this is the new batch being mixed together of balsam fir and cardamom with marshmallow root, honey, and water. Using the piping tips again, my sister seemed to have a better technique of getting them out. I struggled a bit with this one. But once I had a new technique, I tried a different piping tip and it seemed to be working well. I just had to reshape some of them as they came out. They got a little messed up on the top, but we fixed that. Batch one was made, now we're ready to make batch two. Things seem to be going well. This one we are mixing eucalyptus and orange. Using the same recipe as previously with the marshmallow root, honey, and water. Mix, mix, mix.
I changed the piping tip I was using. This one had a bigger opening, so I was able to push along the side more to get that out, which worked wonderful. So glad I switched. Made things a lot easier. <laughs> All right, now I'm finally getting the hang of this. Things seem to be going very well. I'm loving it. So much fun making these. This next batch, we use some holy basil. We mix it with rose petals. In order to get the scents we desire, we kind of open both containers at the same time and smell them and see what smells good for us. And we really enjoyed this blend together. It was funny because I struggled with this consistency, whereas my sister struggled with the eucalyptus and orange. What other one came out? Hmm? So each of us had our own struggles when making these. I just kind of reformed them and it worked well. Next up, grinding some Damiana leaf. I love this scent, so enchanting, with some lavender. This lavender is a little bit older, the color's kind of drained out, but it still smells really nice, so we thought it would be great for this, making incense cones. This one ended up being the leftovers. It was balsam fir, damiana, and lavender. So it wasn't an exact amount. We, I just kind of added honey and water until I got the right consistency. This made a lot of these, which turned out to be great because it was one of my favorite scents that we made. Now it's time to dehydrate them. We didn't make as many as we wanted to. It was a little bit time consuming. We had to pick up the kids from school soon. So we just ended up doing one tray of these just to try it and see how we liked it, how it worked. And then we were wondering if the top was going to even fit on there, so we did it slowly. It did fit, luckily. It was a perfect size. We dehydrated the temperature I chose to dehydrate these was 95 degrees, just thought a low, subtle heat. This made a way bigger mess than I thought. Probably shouldn't have done it on a white tablecloth, but that's okay, it washed out. Now I had leftover marshmallow root, so I wanted to make a yummy tea infusion with this. So I just added the marshmallow root with some water in a pot and simmered it for 10 to 15 minutes on the stove. Very mucilaginous. So soothing. Now it's time to write it down so I don't forget all of the blends we made. I have this journal of herbal recipes I make and I just jot it down for future reference. After drying the incense cones with the hole on the inside, we do notice we have to light it a few times to let it burn all the way through. Um, so I have to hold it over the candle, Oop, don't drop it in, over for about a minute or so to get it lit really well. Uh, I notice that burns the longest that way. So we will be trying this again at some point, maybe tweaking the recipe again just so we get a continuous burn. Okay, that's it for me today. It's so nice outside. The first warm day, almost 60 degrees. I'm going to spend the rest of the day out in the sun, making some dinner, and just being with the family. I hope you found that video helpful, useful, enjoyable. Let me know in the comment section below if you've tried this before, what worked for you, what didn't work. All right, friends, take care. Be well. Bye-bye.